The Smart Pediatric Growth Chart is an award-winning tool for providing clinical care and communications with patients and their families. It was designed in collaboration uh, among the Boston Children's Hospital Smart Health IT team, the Fjord Design Firm, the MedAppTech uh, App Development House, and a number of clinicians at leading children's hospitals. And here I'll take you through a quick tour of its features. Just to get you oriented, this is an application that would run in the context of an EHR system running on one patient record at a time. In this case, the patient is a fictitious patient called Steve Ritchie, who is at this point a three-year-old male, but we can see that he was born premature uh, at 28 weeks. And so we can think about his age uh, either in terms of actual calendar days or as a corrected age. This is just one example of one of the advanced clinical features um, that's important for clinicians who want to interpret growth, especially of young children. So on the left hand side of the screen here, we see uh, a fairly traditional looking view uh, of the length and weight of a child as the child grows over time. So the x axis here is time and we can see length in centimeters and weight in kilograms. And on the right hand side of the screen, uh, we can see body mass index and head circumference that are plotted uh, as well. So just to give you a quick sense of the utility of this application, I mentioned that this is a child who was born premature. Uh, and if by default we look at this child's growth along the national curves that are provided for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, we'll see that this child is off the chart. Uh, his lengths and weights are so low that they don't even uh, register among the colored bands here. Uh, but this application comes built in with uh, charts that are specific for premature infants. So, for example, we can interpret this child's first uh, 13 weeks of life uh, using a Fenton's curve uh, or going up to six months. We can see uh, this is this is a child who is actually on the curve for premature infants, even though he is not on the curve. Uh, according to the overall population norms. So we can look at two different uh, normal value sets at once, uh, or we can change the normal value set that we're using, the underlying curves on which we're plotting these records. And that's another example of an advanced clinical feature that uh, is not available from a paper growth chart, and is not available in many of the charts that come built into EHR systems. Just to point out a couple more of the advanced clinical features of this application. Uh, the application allows clinicians to view data in terms of raw values like um, centimeters and kilograms, or uh, when we're making decisions about whether a child is, is normal or off the charts, it's sometimes useful to think in statistical terms uh, in terms of standard deviations from the norm. And so we can actually switch modes and look, uh, instead of looking at raw kilograms and centimeters, now we can see in terms of z-score. So this child is 1.73 z's below the norm. Um, again, an example of a feature that's really valuable for clinicians who may be used to a paper-based workflow uh, where these features aren't available. Just to provide another example, uh, we can also calculate the growth velocity between two arbitrary points. By clicking uh, and hovering over another point, uh, we can see the growth velocity here is 53 centimeters per year. Uh, or if we look uh, at a later segment of time here, the growth velocity is slower. We can see the slope is lower and the growth velocity is 6.3 centimeters per year. But in addition to these clinician facing features, which include graphs uh, and tables where all the values are available at a glance, uh, this application also provides some unique features for communicating uh, with the parents of a child. So by clicking on the parent tab here in the upper left, I can invoke the parent view, uh, which shows me a couple of key pieces of information. One is an overall summary of how Steve is doing, including most recent heights and weights uh, and measurements, and a summary that says that Steve is underweight. Uh, at 8.6 kilograms uh, for his age. He's underweight, uh, but we can see that compared to his last weight assessment, his weight is improving, uh, which is a good thing. So at a glance, we can see what's the most important information we need to know about this patient. Uh, and we can also provide some information about the child's height progression, which becomes more important over time as a child progresses later through childhood and into adolescence. We can even make um, some calculations based on the mean uh, paternal height and maternal height uh, looking at the mom's and dad's heights and making some projections about how likely it is uh, that, that Steve will reach a certain height uh, over time. So that's a really quick tour of some of the communications and clinical features of the Smart Pediatric Growth Chart. And we encourage you to check this out for yourself. All the work we've done for this application is available open source, and you can check it out at smarthealthit.org.